Hello, hello, hello beautiful people, welcome back to day 3 of the Deadman Mode Armageddon. In the first two episodes we built an amazing foundation for what I want this account to become. Today, however, it is time to take it a step further and start actually printing money. Start farming whips, start farming tridents and hopefully secure ourselves some best in slot sigils on top of that. Let's jump right into it. Okay, that's how the Rasgarnia. Okay, found the mobs. Okay, looks like it's one of the breaches that is... Uh, area locked. Okay, good luck us, come on. Tier 5 emblem, we'll take it. Another tier 5, okay. Okay, looks like Rot is holding south of Valley. Another tier 5, yoink. So looks like this is a spawn hotspot. Vardorvis, opa. Rex. Okay, I can melee pray against both of these. I'm gonna try to kite them down. 85 attack, by the way. Because I could have this all to myself. That would be amazing. Ah, oh, the other guy I can't, but maybe. The drop. No, 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 no. Why do they see it? No. Okay, it's not just me, but it's okay. Okay, the breach is quote-unquote ended right now. Ah, uh, but let's see if any mobs still linger around. Come on, this could be me. Tier 5 emblem. Yes sir, another emblem. I think it's safe to say that was our best bridge so far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 emblems. Ooh, okay. I am uh, sorted. If I ever die, I can rebuild so quickly right now. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and continue with our Kurask task, which is what we got yesterday. And it is time to finish 85 Slayer. Start uh, printing some money. Let's get it done. Oi, oi, oi. We just got a Leaf Bladed Sword. I was really hoping for a Leaf Bladed Battle Axe instead, but we'll take it. Another Leaf Bladed Sword? Hoppa, we got a supply drop tier 5 emblem. It's night gaming time right now, but it's almost morning. We'll take it. I have so many tier 5s right now. I do need to do this task in about two trips though. Supply drop of some ranging potions and snape grass. There it is. Big level 98 strength. Just one more level to go and we're getting so close to 85 slayer. The whips are going for 2.5 mil each at the moment. So it's probably something I want to start farming as fast as possible. Another sword. Superior Kurask. We only have 17 left to go and we're very close to 85 slayer. I don't know how much XP I get from this. I did run out of overloads though. Alright, here we go. 27k XP for... Sigil of Finality. What does this do? 10% accuracy on your next special attack within the next 12 seconds. Ooh, how good is this? I don't actually know. <sighs> I kid you not, it's 10k on the GE. But look, it's another sigil for the Pokedex. It's okay. And look at that, we have an emblem and I can actually make it so it's highlighted now. I'm honestly quite happy I did this task. I mean, the loot was phenomenal, really. So... Not bad at all. Let's see what the next task is. We've done 18 tasks in a row. So one more from Neve, and then we take one from Kuradel. And the next task should be 85 Slayer. So hoping for a good one. Drakes is like so slow. And this is actually a bad task. However, it does drop really good boots. But this is uh, where we are going to be using one of the cancels. Black Dragons is really good. Nice. So I've had this do the heart clue, do the heart clue, do the heart clue text in the chat for a while now and guess who's been consistently forgetting to do the heart clue? Hint, it was me. Uh, but I do have this very simple step and also I did manage to snipe Sigil of the Bloodhound which makes the steps very likely to be one step clues. So let's go ahead and finish this one off. Wow, it's a two step clue. Oh, and I need to go to Entrana for this one. Actually, I think I'll do these things later when it makes a little bit more sense. Right now I should honestly speedrun and get to Abyssal Demons. Task number 20, Gargoyles. I'm gonna go ahead and do those and we're gonna get a ton of points for it as well. Perfect timing for a superior. I believe this is gonna be also 85 Slayer if I don't die doing this. Okay, good luck us. This could be literally anything in the game. 85 Slayer and we get a tier 5 emblem in this one. Not bad though, not bad. I'm gonna finish this task and I'm probably gonna get 99 strength in the process and then I think I might handpick a task of Abyssal Demons, but we'll just have to wait and see for now. We are just a couple of hits away from a very big milestone and there it is, 99 strength on Deadman mode alongside 114 combat. Some people do some cool tricks in order to, you know, have the highest 
XP drop, I don't really care about that. From now on, it's simply attack training to 99 and defensive training with magic when we do that. So super excited. I only have 24 gargoyles to go and then I probably manually pick an abyssal demon task. But I will scout the catacombs first just to make sure there is no like teams already camping inside or something like that. Alright, now that the Slayer is out of the way, I need to use all my money before I randomly lose it. Because I will be risking all of this at all times, it is now quickly time to train some construction. I've been uh, procrastinating this a little bit, but I do believe it is now time. First goal is simple, level 50 construction. We are now officially 50 construction. We can now make the portal chamber and make the house actually functional. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make a quest hall. I can now build on the guild trophy space with the amulet of glory and a few tick planks in my inventory. And I now have infinite glory charges in my house. The next thing I wanna do is make two portal rooms. And this is usually fairly expensive, 100k per room. And that's why I wanna do this right now. This one is just gonna take me to different safe areas. So for example, Lumbridge, Falador and Varrock. That's usually how I like to have one of the rooms. I'm now building another portal chamber and this one's gonna be for the dangerous activities. And on top of that, what we're also gonna build is a chapel so I can recharge my prayer. So that is chapel being built. And just like that, we used more or less all of our money. And that is going to be the temporary layout. Safe teleports to the right, chapel to the north, and more dangerous teleports to the left. Sometimes I even put more teleports up here. Let's get more supplies so we can actually make the teleports. And this portal chamber is gonna be the breach portal chamber. So the first portal, I wanted to go to Civita Ila Fortis. That is when the breach is happening in Varlamor. Second portal is gonna go to Watchtower, which is over here in Yanil. And the third one is gonna go to Sentisten, which is dig site, which is whenever the breach is happening on the north of Alkarid. I'll probably be building up on the house as we go, but right now we spent a lot of money on it. So let's actually check out the Abyssal Demons and see if we can manually take them. So before I even take the task, I'm gonna scout the caves a little bit because imagine I manually pick a task right now and it's not exactly doable. So I'm just gonna check this. I do believe most people in this bracket are probably gonna be doing like wilderness stuff, I would assume, like wilderness barraging, but not actually catacomb barraging. So let's just, oh wait, I need to unlock it from the center. Forgot about that. Okay, I will let him, let's see. I should not ever not tab in that situation. Okay, so that guy was just barraging Necrios, but I'm gonna go for these, so it should be okay. Surely hope he doesn't have a team that's gonna, you know, hit me while I'm doing this, but listen, sometimes I do enjoy risking it, and this is like a big part of my usual strategy, so we're gonna risk it. We have now unlocked this. Let's go ahead and actually grab a task. Alright, so because I've been so patient with my points, I have a Sigil of Slaughter equipped. I can pick my Slayer task and I can choose it to be Abyssal Demons. We now have 148 to kill. I just need to change my Sigils now. My Sigils of choice at the moment is Devotion, Consistency and Meticulousness. But when and if I get Prosperity, I will throw out probably Consistency or Meticulousness for Prosperity. But this should be very good prayer XP and on top of that, a very decent loot as well. The really cool part about Devotion here is not only I get a lot of XP, I'm averaging like over a mil prayer XP an hour, but I'm also having infinite prayer, because if you bury bones in the catacombs, you recharge prayer. So it's like two in one, that's my, my inventory can look like this, and I can come here without like much more prayer pots. And on top of that, I've also made a decision that I will train magic until 94 exclusively and then I'll start defensive casting from 94 to 99. Simply because I want to be able to barrage even if I'm not overloaded. And I just got Onyx Bolt Trip Supply Drop. I will definitely take this. So I just traded in all my tier 5s and I have 26 million points. Uh, that is a lot. That is so much money. Oi, oi, oi. Yes, we got the first whip. Let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm banking this immediately is what I wanted to say. Uh, this is like 2.5 mil. I need to get one or two more and we are a complete set. Uh, but that is a very, very good start for us. Oi, oi, oi. Very nice. We're up to 87 magic as well. So just quickly deposit this and uh, we still have 74 more to go. So there's a chance we even get one more. If you were wondering how my deposit box looks at the moment, this is around 400k, 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 2.5 mil. We need one more whip. Let's go out there again. 
All right, task is done and we got one whip to show for it. That is not ideal, but not too bad either. I'm gonna go ahead and grab tasks regularly until we're 87 Slayer. Uh, I don't think I wanna do fire giants right now. Yeah, I have, I have enough points. I'm just gonna manually grab Necreals. I think that's the play. Use 60 point and get ourselves Necreals. 188, that is so much. All right, let's hope this goes well. I'm also gonna be using bracelets of slaughter to make this task even longer. There's 86 Slayer, just one more level to go. And we are now up to 90 magic, getting 3.2 mil XP an hour, which is crazy. Also, 83 prayer. Wait, I just got Sigil of Agile Fortune. I don't know what it does. Ooh, it's not the best. When you get Mark of Grace, you get 10,000 coins. Very good early game, probably worth about nothing right now though. If you're enjoying the episode, make sure to subscribe. If you ever wondered how printing money looks like, look at this looting bag, just full of rune items. This is perfect. All right, we got some rune boots. Don't think I'll ever use those, but funny collection log slot regardless. Okay, so this guy sees us. Oh, he actually hopped smart. But now our location is leaked. Ooh, Sigil of the Formidable Fighter. I know for a fact that's worth money. The best part about getting these good sigils like this is even if I die, I keep them. So I don't even need to like sell it right now. I can sell it in a little bit uh, when I have enough money to like get a bigger upgrade. Yeah, Sigil of the Formidable Fighter is going for 1.4 million right now, which is uh, very good. Oh, there's another guy barraging there. There's no way. Oh shit, I'm probably dead here. Deep breaths, it's okay, it's only two people. What the fuck, I click name changer. No way they catch it like this. Crazy what I just did to them, no? Oh my, beautiful tank. Beautiful, beautiful tank. Wow. I'm proud of this tank. I'm so close to 87 Slayer, so I will probably just finish this neck reels normally. Nice, what a tank, bro. Yes, huge, 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 huge. Very good we don't die there. If you are wondering what we would have lost if we were to die, uh, quite a lot of alcohols, obviously. Yeah, these trips are pretty good. But yeah, I'm grabbing out Barrow's Gloves. I have used the caves as much as I wanted. I mean, I got the whip, I got a lot of magic. The rest of the magic will be done through Kraken most likely anyways. <laughs> it is so weird doing this normally when you've just spent like hours barraging them. Uh, but yeah, we'll be all right. Hey, there it is. We actually did it. 87 Slayer completed. We can now assign ourselves Krakens. And you already know we will 100% be doing that right after this task. Tier 5 emblem, we'll take it. And that's it, that's the task done, beautiful. Let's go ahead and gear up for Krakens now. Okay, let's try to get a Sigil of the Menacing Mage real quick because we don't have it yet. And this is definitely gonna be better than Devotion for Krakens. I'm gonna go out there with Consistency, Meticulousness, and now obviously the Menacing Mage. If you don't know what this does, there's a small chance that I deal a curse to the target and then I basically heal for the amount of damage I deal, so super useful. All right, Bracelet of Slaughter is on. I can click Assign and I can pick Cave Krakens. We have 116 of them, but we're gonna be using Bracelets of Slaughter all the way through. Okay, let's quickly talk about the plan. First of all, I wanna get some small Tridents killed because they have a higher chance of dropping an uncharged Trident. They're currently going for around 4 mil each. 
After that, I want to hopefully get a Sigil of Prosperity with that money, maybe, hopefully. And we're also going to be looking to kill a big Kraken eventually later on because I need to get 75 kills in order to, well, get as many points as possible. But I'll do that after I get either one or two Tridents. Three kills in, by the way, boys. We are three kills in and we got ourselves the Uncharged Trident already. Probably going to bring this to safety very quickly. But also, I don't really think I can die whilst I'm here. I'm not going to insta-sell this because I need to have enough money to afford prosperity so i'm probably gonna be looking to selling two at a time okay one more magic level and we will be free we'll be able to barrage without being potted which is gonna be massive for trying to escape pks because you know when you're trying to escape you don't really want to be overloaded and you don't really want to have this low defense let's get this one more level and we'll be very happy so we're gonna do this nice 20 minute trips see i dripped out my house when i wasn't streaming as well i have a bunch of teleports to breach locations and to safety locations now. What are the chances, bro? What are the chances? We just got it. GN King. Y you know what? Good morning come to you too. You just provided us an uncharged trident. Right as I was explaining it. So because of that, it is now time to hopefully get prosperity. I will sell both of these tridents. I really want it because it's gonna increase the chance of a deadman mode loot table by 20% and I feel like that could be fun for content. Okay, we're just gonna commit. If it's not enough, we're gonna sell the whip as well. We also have uh, this ancient stuff we can consider selling and we have a bunch of coins. We're gonna take this moment to just have like a bank sale. So how much are we willing to sell this for though? It might be just this much by the way. I think the price might have crashed a little bit since we last checked. Okay, we leave one in for 3 mil. We sell the other one for... This this is good price for a trident though, like... Yeah, 2.7. I'll do 2.7, honestly. I will get merged here, I'm aware of that. But I'm willing to get prosperity. Okay, so how much was that? 2747k. Okay, so we are now committed. Thing is with a whip, if I sell this, we're gonna be on... We're on 4 mil right now. This is already gonna get us up to... I cannot sell one more. Either I sell the whip, and it's about 2 mil, and we are then up to like... 5-6 mil offer, or we sell this. But I kind of want to have whip available, I think. Thing is, prosperity is anywhere between like 9 mil and 6 mil. It's like really hard to say. So there it is. The Trident sold for 2.7. Beautiful. And now this is it. The prosperity will hopefully buy for this. 7, 2, 6, 8k. Okay, we leave it in like this for a bit. And we keep on selling stuff in the bank. Maybe I'll sell some of my emblem points. It's gonna buy. It is gonna buy. Don't worry about it. I promise you. Five minutes later. Boys, look at it. Do you see what I'm reading here in the chat? Grant exchanged. Finished buying. One. Sigil of Prosperity. There we go. 7.6 or something million dollars spent on that one. And we're now gonna get rid of... Probably consistency, right? Get rid of consistency, pop the prosperity, and let's go farm some money, man. We're printing today. This is gonna be big. So let's do the boss. Let's work on actually, for the first time ever, this deadman mode, we're gonna start working on the total points. So this is something we need to do every time. Kill it 20 times. Uh, all four tentacles are dead. And then we cannot do the privately rented instance. So this is all I can do. 20 kills and this. So we're basically gonna kill it 75 times. Start this 28206. Okay, so 400 points for that. Very good. We got a mystic rope top as well. That's like 120k. So that's all the tasks completed. Now we just need to get 20 kill count. But yeah, the one for 7 mil to have mage more. Oh, come on. You guys are so trolling now. Ha! You can't make this shit up, bro. No way you guys sniped and fucked it up this bad. I'm so disappointed in you, man. Rot, I'm so disappointed. I'm gonna be honest, like, my disappointment is immeasurable, honestly. Two I killed on stream and you showed up. That's not Rot, I mean... Listen, I'm just gonna say it, that was a bit embarrassing. You guys had five people to log in and cast Barrage and you all missed it up, like, I don't know. But what if I did it again? What if against all odds, I just said fuck it and went straight to the boss room again? Guys, I know you're still on stream. Could we, hypothetically speaking, make like a truce? Where I could do this and you guys let me do it. Thoughts? I mean, they'll be back. Because like, if you think about it, I was not very kind to them, right? Guys, listen, I apologize. You guys are great and I mean it. Can I just do this with like no problems or... 
Ah, we're printing. We're printing. Trident number three. I just decided to do a little bit of the small ones uh, until the bracelet would break. Uh, and I'm kind of scared the team would hit me again on the big guy, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, but that's another one. Another trident. I might actually keep and use that one, to be honest. I mean... Four tridents, and we still have 57, so there's still a likelihood we get more. I'm dipping though. So we're gonna sell this, and we're gonna try to get the next upgrade for ourselves, which is absolutely massive. I knew it. Every Deadman mode, I get to this point every single time. I get impressed at how good this method is to make money, basically. So yeah, let's just go ahead and sell these tridents and buy the next upgrade. I guess it is time for us to start selling again. So what do we got in the deposit box? Trident, Trident Whip. Let's see if there is anything on the market. Do we just try 2770 again? Okay, so some might be doing for 2.5 right now. So that's like 4 mil here. Let's just assume it's 2 mil. That would be like 4 mil here. I don't think I can afford it. Let's go ahead and get like one more trident and then we can think about getting the arcane swiftness. We just keep on printing. Crack and tentacle as well. Well, this actually makes sweep usable. And it's the first skill back, which is amazing. We will uh, keep going for now. Uh, but we might use that on our whip for the breach, uh, in all honesty. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but that's a really good drop. Much rarer than the trident itself as well. Like, I could try to sell it. I think it's really good. It makes, like, whip actually good. Uh, we can try. We can try to put it in for a couple of mil. There it is. 94 magic. I can now finally start long-ranging just about everything. Because I can cast barrage and I don't need to overload for it. I'm still gonna overload simply because it's gonna cause me to deal more damage. And it's just gonna make kills faster. But uh, yeah, stats are looking beautiful. Let's start working on some defense levels as well. Yes, dude, with fucking... 8 kills to go, we get another one. That is so good. That is so good, I'm so happy. Nice. We might be able to get the sigil upgrade before the breach. No way, man. No way did I just pull another crack and tent. I'm not banking for 4 kills, right? There's no way. That's crazy good though. But I only have 2 restores. I kinda wanna bank, I'm not gonna lie. What a trip. Oh me, oh my. Okay, so. We might have gotten a tentacle, a bunch of stuff, and then a trident, and then a tentacle, and then a bunch of other tridents. So let's see how much I could sell the tent for, if it's doable to get the next sigil we wanna buy. And obviously I could also do what I did in less deadman modes, and just swap out a bunch of money. But for this deadman mode, I just wanna like keep reinvesting in the deadman mode instead of swapping out, because I kind of have everything on the main game and I don't need money there. I left the offering for the Arcane Swiftness sigil and I hope it buys. I am buying it for 8 mil which is overpriced compared to the last time it sold. And in the meantime I'm just gonna train a little bit of agility. The next breach is in 29 minutes. If it doesn't buy in the next like 15 minutes I'm just gonna buy a bunch of other things instead just to like get rid of the money. Uh, for now though I'm training agility with sigil of leaf as well uh, because I do want to get this up to 70 eventually so I might as well do it here while I'm waiting. Oi oi oi! Wait! It actually bought! I didn't even see it! I thought you guys were trolling, I was reading my Twitch chat. There it is! Sigil of Arcane Swiftness! Ladies and gentlemen, it is purchased, it is obtained. I am not sure I'll actually use this for the breach. I might just go with Consistency, Fighter, Meticulousness, but it will be amazing for the future Kraken tasks. So basically, my next goal is to get a Corrupted Shadow and then like a Turbo Strong Mage setup. This is gonna be amazing even though it might not be amazing this very moment. I'm not gonna extend because I think we're gonna be milking this pretty much dry. Uh, so let's take Cave Kraken one more time, 101. So on rate, that can be three to four tridents, that can be eight million, that is basically a shadow. Okay, so breach is in 20 minutes. I'll do this for like 15 minutes and then I'll full prep the breach. Yes, 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 we got another one. We got another one, man. Big. We got two. As if we got two. We did just come here. We were like, okay, we need something to kill like 10 minutes of our time. And we might have just gotten two real quick. Okay, we're just gonna try to actually use the sigil on the bridge. So consistency goes out. Arcane swiftness goes in. Formidable fighter goes out. Menacing mage goes in, I mean. This way, we're gonna be very nicely sustained throughout the breach. And we're like magic based hard now. Uh, north of Arcarid, okay. So we should be hitting pretty well here. I guess we just go in Mystic. Oh man, this is hitting like a truck. Wait, this sigil is cracked. 
Okay, we got an emblem. Okay, so why the curse doesn't proc the meticulous mage thingy? So I guess I can change it for consistency. I didn't check my points at the start. 29, 100, okay. Bro, why is there so much stuff on the floor? I need to like, I don't know what to do. I hate it. I know, the solution is to pick everything up. Oh, we got a tier 5. Somewhere in the distance, there it is. 3 minutes left on the bridge. We'll play it quite riskily here, I think. Not that many MVPs, but we're getting so much damage, I feel like. A lot better than melee. So whoever suggested me to do this, thank you. I actually got an emblem from that. I felt like I didn't even hit. What a performance. What a breach and what a performance. This is looking beautiful in itself. Okay, beautiful in itself. Let's check the points. 30,000. I don't know how much I started on. But basically the improvement I would do from here, alongside obviously getting shadow and just in general getting better magic gear, because right now I have no magic like bonus whatsoever. Now we're going to be doing a little bit of Kraken boss. I want to get 75kc to keep working on my deadman points. And for that we're going to go with Prosperity Menacing Mage and Arcane Swiftness. And we'll see how it feels. Bro, 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 bro. I got a jar of dirt. On deadman mode, that's not even boosted. Why do you mean grats? What do you mean poggers? Why is everyone spamming grats? You guys die, nah, CBA, man. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. House upgrade, what the fuck? That is so rare. And it's not boosted. Ah, whatever, man. It, it will take it. Jar of dirt. Lovely. I just got a sigil of the infernal chef. The first time prosperity pulls through, you have 20% chance to instantly cook a fish while fishing. I don't think that's too good. It goes for 400k. I take it back. This sigil is amazing. Opa, full trident of the seas. Okay. That is also a lot of runes to go with it. Okay, let's take it to safety. Let's see exactly how many runes we get. The price check thinks it's worth 1 mil, but that's obviously without the actual trident price, I guess. I need one more trident and I think then we can get a shadow for it. How long have I been in this bracket for? And I'd never realized I had a quest lamp in my bank, by the way. I've been in this bracket for years. I can unlock Dragon Slayer 2 or Secrets of the North. We're gonna go with Dragon Slayer 2 in this one. 97 hit points, 1275 total and combat level 116. And we are currently 50 kills deep on the Kraken. So 25 more kills to go. It is uh, pretty slow, about a minute a kill. But once we're done with it, we can continue on the smalls. And there we go up to 96 magic and I think this is 60 kill count on the boss so we just have 15 left to go. Okay last one is always a little bit scary but there it is seaweed 75kc and with that we have fully completed basically our very first boss in deadman mode. Now from this point on I could keep killing kraken but it would literally give me no point whatsoever and we end on 32.139. I don't know if that's good, I don't know if that's bad, we'll take it. Uh, and from now we can just kill smalls. All it takes is to just do like a couple of small ones and you get another trident. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business. We still have 20 on the task. So that was quick, you know. I've been doing the boss for a little bit over an hour, I'd say. And then you come back to smalls. You just kill them so quick. And it's one in 40. So it's like pretty likely to see a trident. Oh my god, we just got a back-to-back -back, basically. One kill in between another trident. But I love the speed of this. Ooh, this guy is PvPing or? In that gear? There's no way. Okay, I'll tab simply because I have so much loot. And it, it takes almost no time to get back. If I didn't have two tridents on me, I'm not tabbing there. Uh, regardless though, two extra tridents means that uh, we're gonna be printing soon. But I'm gonna go finish the task first. No shot, bro. No shot, we came back and we got another one. You don't understand. Like, we're talking 20 kills. I got three. Okay, honestly, I couldn't be happier with how this went. We did the 75 boss kills, we got insanely lucky on the tridents, and we are probably gonna try to sell majority of them right now and see if we can afford the shadow. Uh, this might insta-sell, it might not. It insta-sold for 2.1, very good. Okay, another one sold for 2 mil exactly, I just put it up and then I took it off and then it sold, so can I sell one more? No. Time is money. Yeah, but I can be making money outside. I don't really care about 100k. Okay, perfect. And the third one sold as well. We now have hopefully enough money to buy the shadow straight up. Okay, we might need to sell one more. I mean, I have one more available. I have two more available. What the fuck? I didn't realize I had that many. Uh, yeah, let's put it in for 
this price again and then I can just increase the price here after basically took a little bit of time but another trident sold I do believe that should be more than enough for a shadow now okay I think I just need to buy it slow yeah the last one sold for 8.2 of course, right as I'm preparing to go turbo AFK, look what just happened. Ladies and gentlemen, Tumek and Shadow is purchased, which is wonderful, simply because this means we can now use this in the next breach. And now there is another thing I want to do, which is an occult, right? And they are pretty affordable right now, so... Maybe I sell another one for a cult real quick. All right, I want to try this method out. So we have Sigil of Storage and Sigil of the Infernal Chef. And while I'm trying to sell this trident, let's give it a shot. This is not a perfect storage, uh, but this is basically going to cook the fish. And this is just going to, well, we're just going to fish a little bit, right? We're going to do it in safe zones because I want to chill for now. But I just want to test it out. Apparently, it's really nice and relaxing. It's actually kind of satisfying. We just went from 1 to 8 cooking in like one tick. And obviously it's going to bank, but not all of it. But most of it, and I can just drop it whenever I feel like it. The only problem is I'm not getting sigils when I do it in this location, but that's fine. Actually, since I'm somewhat present on the PC, I'll just do it in Lumbridge and I'll do it in like Danger Zone. Just to kind of see if we actually land on a sigil or not. Oh! That's how it works! So... I basically just landed on a drop table and I got Dwarfwit and Torstall. It's not necessarily only sigils, it is just a full-on drop table. So because of that it makes me think that prosperity for sure works. Okay, there it is, 60 agility, we can now do Sears Village. I've just been doing a few laps while waiting for the Tridents to sell, uh, but nobody is buying them right now, so that is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so while I was killing, I had a lot of time to think what I want to do next, and the first thing is to keep improving our house. Let's add another portal chamber, and we're gonna put even more dangerous portals in here, but most importantly, the Battles portal, simply because that's, I think, the content I want to do next. Rushing Slayer right now, sure, I could go further, but as you can see tridents are not really sellable and the next milestone would be Cerberus that I'm actually willing to kind of grind But at the moment I do need like full items technically for the breach and any excess pieces I can try to sell in order to afford both a cult and sigil of versatility Which is what I'm after right now. This has no reason being this exp 700k for this Bro, you can get this so fast by the way. They are such a common drop I'm kind of tempted to go park my account there right now. Oh, there you go, 2.5. Nice. So basically now I can change between spellbooks as I wish. So I can NPC contact to grab tasks. I can do like a lot of things with this that is just gonna speed up basically just about everything we do. All right, let's see. Chest number one. We're doing this until we see an item. There is no item in the first one. Oh, wait, I could do the combat achievements. I think there is one to do it fully without prayer. Maybe I do that one real quick. Dude, I can't be playing two accounts getting PK'd on the other account right now. Like, my guy, stop. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, but this should be a task completed here. Yeah, there you go. Faithless Crypt Run. Thank you for points, I appreciate it. Chest number three should also be a task. I don't think I got hit by any of the melee brothers. Getting very questionable loot, but Can't Touch Me is also completed. The rest are just kill count tasks, basically. Alright, do we get it here? No items this time around. Another chest, I'm out of battle stabs, so this better be an item. It is not an item, so we go buy more battle stabs. Alright, is this it? It is not it, just yet. Alright, here we go. Surely we get an item here. Okay, I'm starting to think that the idea of doing barrows until I get an item might not be the vibe. This one has to be it, right? It has to be. Okay, we got one of the worst items. We got a Darok body. We'll take it and we'll move on to the next activity. Let's just get Magic Cape 1 for now. And then I'll do Magic Cape 2 when there's less people online. Because right now is complete peak time. No way I got a magic level up at this level. Yo, we're up to 97. Let's go. Two more levels to go. Okay, this should be done soon, the first one. There we go, Sarah Domin. Wow, that was perfect timing. So that was Sarah done. Let's go Gothics next. There we go. We've now unlocked every spell and I'm now ready to die. I think we're fine. I think he's doing... He's doing the thing, bro. In a way, he's, he's running back. Bro, there's no way, right? Nah. Oh, you rat! I fell for it! I uh, unbelievable mechanic, unbelievable scenes, man, no way. There we go, we got all three things, now just make it to safety and then deliver it safely. Let's go. Dude, it's a happy day. It's a Zami Cape happy day. No way I just did this on stream in front of everyone, bro. 
No way I just got Sigil of Augmented Thrall. Say it ain't so. We're going straight to the bank. I wanted this. I wanted this for the breach, by the way. I need to check how much it is. That is so good. So this Sigil single-handedly pays for like, what, four deaths here, maybe. That's a 2.2 miller, but I want to keep it because I want to use it. But I need 2 million to get the trinket now. Hold up. Sigil of the Pious Protection. Decrease the amount of damage you take from attacks of a given combat style by 35% when using the correct protection, but increase the damage when using the wrong protection. But who would actually use this though? It is one miller apparently though, so... According to Twitch chat, that might actually be really good for finals, because you can just play mage, a lot of people are gonna be maging a lot. That could be really good. Okay, Ligma is getting cooked right now. No way they schooled on Ligma like that. They schooled on Ligma, bro. He's wearing like a Draymond stick. Okay, I repeat, the caves are currently not safe. Alright, the money printing technologies brought us to 98 magic. Just one more level to go, and the HP is almost 98 as well. Oh, it's the big chunk. The Necriarch. Big XP drop for Darkto... Sigil of Faith. I think this is a really bad one, actually. No, Sigil of Faith. I'll take Dark Totem, by the way, because this we will need in order to kill Scotizo. That's gonna be Deadman points as well. There is 98 hit points, 117 combat, just one more level to go. The count is honestly gonna start looking very good very soon. I mean, to be honest, it already looks very good. We got 99 magic, which should give us a bunch of points, actually. We're up to 33.3. Okay. Perfect, this could not go any better than it went, like today just in general so far has been absolutely phenomenal. Let's try to buy the trinket of the undead that we can then pair with our thrall sigil that we got. For that we need approximately 2 million. There we go, nice and easy, trinket of the undead, bought it for very cheap, we can now summon... Okay, we cannot resurrect the thrall in the save zone, but outside we can, and this is gonna be very good in paired with my sigils. For the next bridge, we're going with the augmented thrall, arcane swiftness, and meticulousness. So this one gives us accuracy, this one gives us speed, and this one, just to like reiterate, makes the max hits of these dudes quintupled, so five times more damage, and it almost always hits, I think. Okay, let's use 60 more points and we assign ourselves Necreals again. They've been really good to us and I messed up and the breach is in 1 hour 40. So I need something to do for next little bit of time. So let's take Necreals here. We're probably gonna die, but I'm ready to die. Wait, Sigil of Prosperity. Isn't that literally the best Sigil in the game? Oh my god, it's a fucking 10 plus mil juicer actually. Is it 6? Six? 6 mil. That is so big. Oh, that is a cold sorted for us. And that is probably adding pieces sorted as well for the breach. Oh man, that's big. And what do we get? What is that? Sigil of the Woodcraft. Is that good? Wait, Woodcraft? I think that might be the one that makes planks. And the Dark Totem top. It's 500k. Oh shit. That's really good then. It's the Auto Planker. Okay, I was correct. So this Sigil makes automatic planks. When you chop trees, however, you need to have coins in your inventory. Okay, all of the barraging finally paid off. We are now a proud owner of 99 hit points and 118 combat. So from here, it's just getting defense through barrages. And uh, yeah, attack at some point. I don't really know when. I don't really care about attack that much. It will be done as we do bosses, as we, you know, complete tasks or whatever. But 99 hit points on top of everything else today is a very big milestone. Oh, there was a 90 defense. Now we should hopefully follow it up with 90 Slayer. There it is. And now if I get Prayer good, if I don't, also fine. Hold up. Sigil of Versatility. Wait. That's really good. Oh, we just bought that earlier. That's like 2.5 mil. Maybe even more right now. Changes your spellbook. Very, very good Sigil. Wow. What a day, man. What a day. If the breach is good as well. Maybe the breach will be shit. You never know. Maybe I'll get ragged. But maybe it's good, gonna be good. But everything else today has been... Nothing short but amazing. How many mils did we make today? The like guy said 6.5 mil, right? Instantly. Ooh! Not even 6.5. Instantly for 7.5. Beautiful. Watch this. Occult. 3 miller. You overpay for my relic, I overpay for your occult. How about that? There's an occult. Beautiful. How about that's not even it? And we do it a step further. And we get ourselves an Arim rope top for 3 miller. Here, I'll overpay for this as well. Bam. Thank you.
2.3 and how about we don't call it there and we get ourselves an arim rope skirt as well 2350 bam just like that. Oi, 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 complete full turbo maximus for the bridge. We're just kind of nasty with it. And then Arim Hood to top it off. We're going to use all of that. That's all like damage bonus. So let's fully gear it up. So we're starting this bridge on 33,679 points, looking like an absolute demon. If this causes me to get like really targeted, I might like reconsider the gear choices, but the sigils are what's important here. I mentioned it earlier. I'll mention it again. Sigil of the Augmented Thrall. Arcane Swiftness and Meticulousness with the Trinket of the Undead on top of that. Wait, is it like actually just in Lumbridge in German? Okay, it's here. This is fine. This is a really good spot for us. Bro, no way I have... Okay, there's a tier 5. Yeah, we're probably gonna print a lot of those. <laughs> Another emblem. Yeah, I'm gonna get like all the MVPs. It's gonna be crazy. Trolls are going crazy though in the damage department. That's always great. Okay, we got the jumped by a PK here. Already frozen though. Nice, good escape. We'll come back quickly. Very cool comment collected there. I'm happy with how I escaped then. All we need is one good drop. Sit back and relax. Wait, hold up. I got a combat achievement during a breach. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. And we got an emblem as well, so... Okay, Vardorvis again. Let's combo it this. Let's combo it again. I don't see who's attacking me, which is a shame. But why is Portkazard perma on me though? Huh? Hold up. I guess because I will die, that's why. I don't understand this game actually. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. That was just well played from Port Cazard, like I'll be straight up honest. I mean, props to him. He played it well. I played it horribly. So, good fight. Deaths like this are a great indication of how strong sigils are in deadman mode. And it's also an eye-opener as to what you should actually be willing to risk. This deadman mode, I'm obviously going for as many boss kills as possible. I plan on doing God Wars. I plan on doing so many things solo and deaths will happen. Was this death painful? Yes, it was. But in reality, it was just a sigil of prosperity split between a bunch of items. And then at the end of the day, we still made a ton of money. And for the next breach, we're just going full Rex gear. Literally boom, boom, little double way and just barrage. And if somebody hits me, it's actually even easier to tank on this gear than the gear that I had because I was using a complete glass cannon gear and I played it really poorly. That being said though, if you have been enjoying Deadman Mode, it was a pleasure to have you here for this extremely long video. I will be back again tomorrow with another one and this death means absolutely nothing. If anything, it will just make me do even crazier things.